Greetings Power Platform Practitioners. Uh, today I want to walk you through um, a PCF implementation of the JS PDF library uh, that I created and um, I'll have the source code up on uh, GitHub shortly so that you can try it out for yourself. But um, first of all, uh, what is JS PDF? Uh, JS PDF is uh, maintained by a group called YWorks um, and they created this library to allow the client side generation of PDF documents uh, as well as having um, some flexibility around how you format PDF documents, the ability to compress PDF documents as well as encrypt PDF documents. So it is quite a rich library um, that's used in a number of JavaScript uh, projects. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and try to create a, uh, a PCF component uh, from the JS PDF uh, library. Uh, why do we want to do this? Um, so potentially we could uh, drop a control onto a Power Pages portal um, uh, site and then you know using some input um, being able to quickly generate a PDF on the fly or conversely doing that from a Canvas app or a model app. Um, so let's go ahead and see how that can be achieved. So starting with a brand new control, and I won't go through all the steps involved in creating a, a skeleton for your, PDF, um, your PCF control, um, but uh, starting with a brand new control, what we want to do is install this uh, NPM package uh, using NPM install JS PDF. Um, and that's basically just uh, this command that we see here, npm install jspdf uh, dash dash save, and that will install uh, the libraries that you need to um, build your control from. Uh, next, we go to the manifest file, um, and it's uh, a matter of creating a new property, a bound field. Uh, I've called this text area field, and that's the text that we want to render um, as a PDF. And then within our TypeScript file. Um, we want to go ahead and uh, define all the, set up all of our JS PDF options. Now, there are a lot of options and I'm, I'm just starting with the first four options, which are the orientation, whether it's landscape or portrait, you want your PDF generated as, um, whether or not you want to specify units in millimeters or inches, as well as um, paper size. So in this case, A4, as well as a default save name. So once you've done that, we need to create a div and we need to create a button and we need to uh, wire that button to an action. So we've got here um, our, our input element, that, that, that's the, um, the, the text field that we wanna render. We've got the button, uh, we've created a, a, a div, a container, and then we're gonna append that um, that field as well as that button and uh, that button is bound to an event listener um, and it's actually bound to a function called export to PDF. So let's have a look at export to PDF. So if we go to export to PDF, um, you see here, oh sorry, hang on, uh, here we go, export to PDF, right, okay, so here's where we set up um, uh, a, a new JS PDF object. Um, we're going to say that the orientation is what we said before, which is portrait in millimeters and in A4 size. And we're going to start 10 pixels to the left and uh, 10 pixels from the top. Um, and then we're going to save that file out. So once you have, uh, it's simple as that basically, uh, it's basically all managed via this one, um, this one function here. So we're gonna go ahead and test that. So I'm gonna do my NPN, run it into a harness, so you can see what's happening. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so you can see that. Okay, so uh, here's some words that I've added here. Uh, this is test for Windy. Uh, Okay, so uh, then we're going to go ahead and export that as a PDF. And now we can open it. See, um, so it's as quick as that. Uh, it basically just generates that 
uh, as we said before, um, to the left and from the top. Uh, there's some spacing there. So that's a really quick and simple way of uh, generating uh, PDF and allowing uh, users to save that locally. Um, I hope that's been helpful and um, I'll catch you on the next video hopefully.